This and every episode of Dummies is unscripted and pure improv. The performers had no freaking clue what to say or to do until the cameras rolled. The dummies are real. Dum 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 dum! <sighs> Namaste, my friends, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I am the Guru. And I am Jit. And we are here to answer your questions. You write in questions, no matter what they're about, we answer them. We will try to our best of our ability and That's opinion. Right. That's right. Our first question comes to us from Joshua in Portland, Oregon. And Joshua writes, I'm 28 years old. I live at home with my mother. She never changes the toilet paper in my bathroom. What should I do? Oh. <sighs> Joshua, do you need your mom to wipe your ass too? I mean, this is ridiculous. You need to be a better man, get out of the house, make some money, get your own place, hire a maid. She's the one that should be changing your toilet paper. Yes, at 28, you should know how to do it. I mean, it's not that difficult of a process. You don't even have to put it on the roll. You just buy another roll, you set it on the back of the toilet, you're done. Yeah, but, but that's for common folk. I mean, you gotta hire people to do that kind of thing for you if you want to be real successful. Well, I'm saying until you get to that point where you can hire somebody, you have to do it yourself. No, then then you threaten people into doing it first. What? Right. Well, I say, if you want to avoid federal charges, you uh, could just sneak into your mom's bathroom and steal the roll of toilet paper off of there. Oh, you're just starting a war. Next question comes to us from Brandon in San Francisco, California, and he writes, I love ketchup. I put it on everything, including ice cream and chocolate cake. My friends think this is weird. Am I weird? Should I stop just to please my friends? Please let me know. Brandon, you are weird. You are very weird. There's no ifs, no. ands, or buts about it. No, there's a big but you about it. What? No, that's not weird at all. What? You do not need to please your friends. The major pleasure that you need to be feeling is from yourself. You need to please yourself first. The heck with your friends. If it's what you like, if you like the taste of ketchup, and you want to lather that all over some lady's body and lick it up, go well, for it. That's if not you want to do it with ice cream, you do that too. And if accidentally they mix together on the same night because you forgot to change the sheets, that's okay. All right. Uh, apparently, I stand corrected, Brandon. You're not weird. Continue on. Do what you want to do. Our final question comes from Tammy in Grants Pass, Oregon. And Tammy asks, I love my cat. I spend all my money on my cat. I am now in horrible credit card debt. I have bought a car for my cat. What should I do? Well, uh, why, why does a ca cat need a car? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Sometimes when you're driving around, you see a cat sitting in the back window of a car, and they look like they're enjoying it. It's I, just it's just a cat house, a really expensive cat house that doesn't yeah. even be driven. Yes, I, I think you should be wiser with your money. I think you should, uh, you know, maybe consult some sort of financial expert who will help you make a budget. And you know, it doesn't mean you're not go you're going to stop spending money on your cat. You're just not going to spend so much you're going to wind up on the street, get kidnapped, and be forced to change rolls of toilet paper. Now, okay, this is, this whole situation is very strange, and I have a feeling we will not be able to break you of your habit. So here's what I'm going to tell you what to do. This is how you invest your craziness into a business. You buy a building for your cat. Yes. You buy other cats for your cats. You buy the little bistro tables for your cats. Ah. Uh -huh. You charge admission for Cat Cafe. Cat Cafe, I love it. See, now the money she's spending is not spending on a cat. It's investing in a business, I which will it. in turn bring more money. Yes, the cat becomes a write-off at that point. Tax break. Tax break. Very good. I, Jed, I'm glad you're here. Hey, I did not go to community college for nothing. Evidently. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's episode of Ask the Experts. We hope you've learned a little something, and we hope we've taught you a little something. And we hope that if you have a question that you need answered, you will do so in the comments below. Isn't that right, Jen? You know, as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking, why do people not like black cats, huh? Halloween time. Black cat is a symbol of the Halloween death. All right. And a black cat, if you cross its path, 
this you you're gonna die. It's it, it's nothing but bad mojo. This is if a black cat crossed in front of you, huh? This well, is, is it good if a white cat crossed in front of you? I think we can discuss orange this. cat, huh? Doesn't matter. Just the black cats, the only one people don't like. We can discuss this off the air. Black either, cats, witches only had black cats. Why? We, because because they they deviled, deviled with the devil. They deviled with the devil. Well. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and tell us uh, if you like or dislike black cats in the comments below. Dum, 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 dum.